when we experience sudden increase in vata symptoms like flatulence, burping, etc., after doing some yoga therapy, which we are not sure suited for our condition may or may not be, uh, should we assume that it is old vata coming out, or can it be that uh, yoga aggravated vata dosha? So just with a little bit of flatulence and burping, we should not be concluding that yoga is aggravating vata there, sir. See, first of all, we need to understand there are so many concepts in that. See, what burping and flatulence and whatever it is, it's coming out as apana vata. It is mala, mala vata. It is not the dosha vata. Dosha vata is something different that we call it as a vayu. When it becomes pathogenic, then it is called as vata. So that mala kapha, even mala pitta, it is entirely different from dosha pitta and dosha kapha. So whatever we are passing out as a part or a burping and all these things, this is just a mala vata we can take it as or vata dosha which is coming out and it is natural it should come out otherwise it will leads to vega dharana when there is a lot of uh, process takes place inside the body when digestion occurs and that leads to lot of byproducts produced and one of the byproduct is this vata that uh, mala vata which is produced and it needs to be evacuated or eliminated and that is one of the important uh, material which helps us to keep the body clean so that has that needs to be eliminated that's why even in a, in say in a habitual uh, constipation or you know having flatulence uh, you know the pavana muktasana is, is is told and also vata going out or especially this malarubi vata going out is a good sign rather than worrying about vata dosha aggravation there thank you 